Oh, no tongue. No one wants to see a Geordie Shaw make out session. Blah. No, no tongue. No. <laughs> no tongue. <laughs> no tongue. <laughs> oh goodness, it's got to be tongues. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Well, just in case there's like slobber or saliva, and, you know. Lick their face off. <laughs> Oh, tongue, definitely. Yeah. Well, I am religious, but I don't know. I think the wedding should be a personal thing, so it's better to do it your way instead of your parents' way, I guess. I think I, think I probably would because it's, it's important to the family as well, so it's not just a marriage of two people, it's a marriage of two families, so I guess I would, yeah. I think that that also depends on your relationship with your parents. If they want you to have a church wedding um, and you feel like you should honor them in that way, it's quite nice. But if um, both you and your, your partner don't feel like it's something that's incorporated into your lifestyle or you know, it doesn't make any sense for you not to, then stand, stand firm and don't do it. In our case, we prefer to stick with the traditional vows. I think if you have a creative background and can make something witty and beautiful and romantic up, then by all means go ahead and make your own vows. Um, but I think there's something really nice about saying traditional vows. Um, my partner, as it turns out, has quite strong views on writing his own. He thinks it's a bit cheesy. As a bride, yeah, absolutely. I mean, who says that you shouldn't be able to take a pet down the aisle as a bride if you feel affectionate up towards your pet? Goldfish, cat, dog, whatever. Take it down the aisle and enjoy your day. No, no, that's awful. No, it's a bit tacky, yeah. Especially if they're dressed up. Oh, I think having a pet is cute if it's part of your family and, you know, part of you two as a couple. Yeah, I think it's really cute. Yes, I do think you need perhaps the, the three front rows for the family, close family. Probably reserved for the important people at the front, like the old grandma and, and um, the f immediate family, but the rest should be fairly free for all. Oh, depends if you're a traditionalist or not. I think everyone can sit where they like, yeah.